uh, taking a look right now um, at, at this presser. Is it starting, guys? It looks like it is. All right, let's dip into this and see what they have to say. I don't know who is speaking there, just some of the top campaign we came officials. We to Pennsylvania today with, to meet with our legal teams. Um, it's very clear to us, um, and we've declared victory in Pennsylvania. We're up by 400,000 votes with 86% of the precincts in. 86% we have Republican votes still coming in from Trump country. And the Democrats know that the only way that they could win this election is to cheat in Pennsylvania. And we've seen it from day one. We've seen it from day one. We found ballots in drainage ditches. They're not letting our poll watchers watch the polls. They're not letting them inside. There's video after video of them passing out collateral material in polling sites all over Philadelphia. They're trying to cheat. They're trying to cheat. They have three by five printed big posters in polling locations all over the city saying to vote for Biden and Harris, which is totally illegal. They're passing out flyers. The supervisors of elections, we have them on video, certain ones wearing literally Biden, Harris face masks in polling locations, which is totally illegal. And now they won't Due let to we technical one difficulties, great gentleman we missed the beginning today, Jeremy, of this event. Who's a poll watcher down at the convention center. They won't even let him watch as they count the ballots. They put them behind a fence. 40, 50 yards away where they actually can't see the counting happening. Guys, this is fraud. This is absolute fraud. We've seen it in Philadelphia before. They're trying to make a mockery of the election of this country. My father is up by almost half a million votes in this state with 86% reported and plenty of red counties left to go. Plenty of red counties left to go. We're going to win Pennsylvania, but they're trying to cheat us out of it because they know it's their only path to victory. They know it's the only path to victory. And so we came here today. We met with all our lawyers. Uh, we are going to file suit in Pennsylvania. It's a shame that we have to do that. It's the last thing that we wanted to do. It's the last thing my father wanted to do. But this is rampant corruption, and it can't happen. It simply can't happen. It's not fair. This isn't democracy. And with that, I want to pass it off to the great Rudy Giuliani, who's really leading the legal effort. And uh, you'll be hearing from, uh, from Rudy quite a bit. Please. Thank you very much, Eric. It, it, is, it is very, very sad that we're here in the city that's uh, really the birthplace of our democracy. And this is among one of the most anti-democratic things I've ever seen or encountered. And it's not just here in, 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 Phil, in Philadelphia. This is going on all over the country. Uh, we have filed a lawsuit. The lawsuit actually required that when these mail-in ballots that you know are highly suspicious anyway. This form of balloting has always been considered the most prone to fraud. That's according to the New York Times when it didn't apply to candidate President Trump. Well, we were supposed to be allowed by law to observe the counting of the ballots. Now, observe means to any intelligent person being able to look at it. The way it's interpreted by the Democrat crooked machine of Philadelphia is that the observers can be 20 or 30 feet away, never able to see the ballot itself, never able to see if it was properly postmarked, properly addressed, properly signed on the outside. All the things that often lead to disqualification of ballots or make it very easy to dump 50,000 totally fraudulent ballots because they're not observed. This went on for 20 hours while all of you thought there was some kind of legitimate count going on here in Philadelphia. It was totally illegitimate. So we went back to court and we went before a Democrat judge. No need to tell you what the result in Philadelphia is if you're before a Democrat judge, obviously a political hack who doesn't know the meaning of the word observe. Observe means to be able to look. Not a single Republican has been able to look at any one of these mail ballots. They could be from Mars, as far as we're concerned, or they could be from the Democratic National Committee. Joe Biden could have voted 50 times, as far as we know, or 5,000 times. The ballots could be from Camden. Philadelphia, unfortunately, and I would say this about my own city, has a reputation for voter fraud. You have a reputation for dead people voting, and we're going to go look at just how many dead people voted here. I didn't think we'd have to do that, but we will. And you have a reputation for people being busted in from Camden voting here. 
Wouldn't be the first time that happened. But this goes way beyond any of that. And let me also add that this isn't happening just here. We have exactly the same lawsuit in Wisconsin where exactly the same thing happened. Except in Wisconsin, mysteriously, at 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning, about 120,000 ballots appeared. Oh, here come these ballots. Well, we have no idea if they really are ballots. We have no idea if they're signed, if they're postmarked properly, if it isn't just the same person who submitted 100,000 ballots, and they all got counted. This is the way they intend to win. Now I'm informed by former Congressman Sweeney, who's been... We are continuing to monitor Rudy Giuliani. You might have noticed something happened to uh, the electoral vote count for Joe Biden. Our decision desk has taken a look at Michigan and concluded Joe Biden. John, where are you? In, in Michigan, in Detroit, Michigan. Again, let me be specific what it is. This whole new thing that never happened before in our country, these mail-in ballots, which has been a cause of real concern for everyone because they can easily be fraudulent. Well, one of the things that the law attaches to that is the right for both parties to observe the ballot, the way we do with absentee ballots. You make certain it's properly signed. On the outside, there's a signature. You make sure that it's properly postmarked. You make sure, it, you make sure that it's uh, properly addressed, and then you pass on it. A number of these are often challenged by the Democrat representative or the Republican representative. We never got a chance to look at a single one of them. The gentleman here who, was, who, who did this for us says about 100,000 ballots went through that process in the 20 plus hours in which they wasted his time by not allowing him to see a single ballot. Well, that's 120,000 ballots that should be, should just be taken out of the count. So you want to look at that number, that 120,000 should come out. And this is an area in which Biden is getting 60, 70 percent of the vote. I don't know if I, I don't know this is going on any other place, but it is going on in enough with enough frequency in Wisconsin that we've brought suit, and now we'll have to look into three other places. What it says to me is this is a concerted effort of the crooks to run the Democrat Party, and you know these big city machines are crooked. You know that. 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 100 years of one party rule leads to corruption of all kinds. Voter fraud is one of the biggest because that's how you keep your power. But we're not going to let them get away with it. They're not going to steal this election. This election gets decided by the people. These people, the elite, they don't care about the people. The people are the deplorables, the chumps. They, you know, they're not important. To President Trump, He's the whole reason that he ran for office. And he's the whole reason for which he's carrying on this campaign, so that your vote can mean something, so that your vote doesn't get wiped out by 100,000 fraudulent, meaningless paper ballots that no one gets to observe. So we are going to continue the lawsuit here. We're going to bring a second one, and then we're going to bring a federal lawsuit. And we're going to take a very good look at whether we bring this nationally. We certainly are going to bring it here and in Wisconsin. Quite possibly, we'll do a national lawsuit and really expose the corruption of the Democrat Party. But this is beyond anything I've ever seen before. This comes when you think you have so much power and you own the media that you can do anything you want. Well, sorry. We're going to fight for the people. We're going to vindicate their right. And the ultimate result is President Trump has won Pennsylvania. I've never heard of a count where you're ahead by 400,000 with 80 plus percent counted and they haven't called it for you yet. They called California the moment it came, it opened, the polls closed. How many votes do you have to be ahead to win, for a Republican to win here? How many votes do we have to be ahead? 400,000 is not enough with 80 plus percent counted, I think there's only 14% of the vote to go. Do you think we're stupid? You think we're fools? You know something? The Democrats do think you're stupid, and they do think you're fools, and that's why you get called deplorable and chumps. 
It's over. We're going to stick with this. We're going to win this election. We've actually won it. Just a matter of counting the votes fairly. So I'd like to ask the former Attorney General of Florida, Pam Bondi, to explain what's been going on at the polling places, which is just as dastardly and just as criminal. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. And as Eric Trump said, we are thrilled to have won Pennsylvania with 87 percent of the vote in, and we're up almost 400,000 votes. So we're thrilled. And you ask, well, why do we care about the, the rest of the votes? Because it is about the integrity of this election. And every vote, as Mayor Giuliani said, in every state must be counted fairly. What we have seen, and we have a video of it that we will release to you, um, they put up, it looks like a police barricade all the way around the perimeter, and they are keeping our poll watchers back approximately 30 feet, um, at least 30 feet. You can judge for yourselves. They would not let them look any further. There is a gentleman there by the name of Seth Bluestein, who is an assistant to a city commissioner, and he is wearing a badge the size of a baseball. And as far as I know, he's not a sworn law enforcement officer. So it looks like intimidation to me um, with a police barricade and, and a man wearing a huge badge around his neck. He told them they can't come any closer. He said the reason was because of I, I, he, they can't interfere with the process. And then something about COVID, well, we all know at the polls, um, you have to stay six feet apart. Our poll watchers have no problem with staying six feet away. Um, yet they weren't allowed to do this. So we're going to release that video to you because we, oh, they, and then they also had binoculars. Our poll watchers brought out a pair of binoculars. They were shut down on the binoculars, but then they were told, well, okay, you can use the binoculars. So that's a concession that we are allowed to observe the ballots. Yet clearly when you see how big the room is, you cannot see every ballot. You can only see with the binoculars the ones that are closest to you. So that's a concession by them, and they're still not letting us see this. So we need to fix this. We need to remedy, remedy this now because we've won Pennsylvania, and we want every vote to be counted in a fair way. Thank you, and I'd like to introduce Corey Lewandowski. You know, uh, General Bondi and I will be here for the remainder until uh, you all realize that President Trump has won this state. We have now officially declared the state of Pennsylvania Trump country. Uh, until the last vote is counted, uh, General Bondi and I will be here. I'm sure we'll be in constant communication with you. We will be releasing that video shortly, and we appreciate your time. There'll be no questions today. Thank you very much. Jeremy, this is a gentleman. I'll have him introduce himself. This is a gentleman who volunteered uh, two days of his time in order to do a civic duty and was obstructed in a horrible way by the crooked Democrat machine of Philadelphia, which uh, really has been around so long, it's a shame. Hi, uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, uh, Jeremy Mercer, and I've, I was at the polls, or at the uh, pre-canvas yesterday from 7 a.m. until just after midnight, back again this morning, just before 8 a.m. until around 2.30. And uh, as has been described uh, very well, we're there supposedly observing, but we can't see. We're further away than I am from you all here, um, hundreds, uh, at least 100 feet away from open ballots that go back out of our sight. We can't see them. We don't know what's happening to them. Um, it's just uh, there's no way for us to meaningfully observe the process from where they have us. Could you tell us how many ballots approximately went through that process that you had no chance to observe? Based on the counts that we've heard, it's about 125,000, maybe more. Well, so that should be deducted from the count. Those are, those are ballots that were counted in violation of the law without an observation. And since this is a novel procedure, this mail-in thing, observation is particularly important to satisfy the possibility that you can defraud. This isn't as if you come in and show an identification. So that's what we're going to be seeking here and in Wisconsin and quite possibly nationally if there's as much evidence in Arizona and Nevada and Michigan. Okay. There's no questions right now. Thank you. Guys. Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you.